Hi, I'm Bailey. This is Bailey Talks, where I talk, you listen, and hopefully we both learn something along the way. No scripts, no filters, just unique conversations. Let's see where we end up. Oh, we better talk about you because we're talking a lot about me and this isn't even about me, so. I'm pretty interested. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for um, coming on, Rose, of of course. course. Um, It's very exciting to have you here and uh, definitely have a lot of questions written down, but to be honest, who knows where we'll end up anyway. I wanted to start um, something very, very simple. I wanted to take you back to uh, a date. A date? The 6th of August. 6th of August. Do you know where you were on the 6th of August? Uh, 6th of August, 2024? Yes, 2024. I was running the Olympic final. You were running the Olympic final. Um, I wanted to ask you straight off the bat, how was that day? What was that like? Um. That day was like a dream come true. Yeah. And like if I could relive it all over again, I would. But yep. um, I'm going to be honest, the day started on a pretty big low. Like I was so sick that day. Like Wait. I was very sick that day to the Shit. point like I just laid in bed all day and I just had this big like race hanging over my head and I was dreading it like all oh day. So I was like, I can't do anything. I can't get out of bed. Like, So was that in the afternoon? The race was in the afternoon? The race was at 9 p.m. Oh my god! So, um, and also, I ha- that I just want to say, um, no sickness or anything like affected my race. Like I was right, fine right. once I was running. I think no excuses, right? No, no, no excuses. I hate excuses, especially yeah. when like people blame stuff on sickness. Hundred percent. Um, like it's just funny because like I have been asked that question before, and I'm like, yeah. it was like the biggest up and down day, like wow. yeah, of my life. Like I called, um, like I woke up in the morning and I called my coach, and I was he was like. Oh, how are you going? And I was like, I can't do it. Like I said, well, I, Scott, is it Scott? Yeah, is Scott he over there Scott. with you? No, he okay, wasn't. Okay, so he, he was back in Oz. Yeah. So yeah. was it just the? Was it like the mentals? Like was it like a mental sickness no, I, or like, like were you was, actually like I was the actually, flu? I had or? the flu. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, I had COVID. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, but like it, like uh, honestly, like it was fine. But yeah. like, yeah, yeah. So when you when you had your heat, your second heat. Yep. I think you ran a 15 minute on the dot. Is that right? Yes, I did. I so ran that 15 flat, yeah. Made you qualify for the final. Yeah, so um top 8 in the both heats qualify for the final and I yeah, placed okay. third in that heat. Wow. So in the past there used to be I think it was like top 6 and then the next four fastest, but then mm. they got rid of that rule um and just had top 8 qualify in both races. Was that heat race when was that? How many days before Three the final? Days three days. Before. So you had three days to sort of prepare for the final. Yeah. We crook on the second heat on that heat day. No, or no, I was fine. It was just the morning yeah. of the sixth. Um, probably the day after, like my heat, like yeah. it probably came. Late. Shit. But honestly, like, um, I wouldn't change it, and like yeah. I still ran the third fastest time I've ever ran. I mm. placed twelfth. Which fourteen forty nine? Yeah, fourteen forty nine. So um, done my re- done my research <laughs> <nice>. there. <laughs> Um, and, um, yeah, like I've so still, still killed, it's not a really good run. I was still like, I wouldn't change the result. At yeah. all. I'm super yeah. happy with it. And yeah. I don't think any of that affected it at all. Yeah. But cool. it's just funny. Like the, um, like the mental processes I went just to get myself to the start line. Like I oh was laying God. in bed and like, I'm not really that emotional sometimes. Well, I don't know actually, but <laughs> I was just like laying there and I was just so sad that I was so sick and I was so feeling so sorry for myself and tears were just like falling out of my eyes. Cause oh I was just God. like, Oh, like I've done so much work to get here. And it's just like, you can't help this. Like, and how do you, what do you have to do to get past that? Like, what do you have to tell yourself? Like in that moment, what did you have to do to like get yourself um, popped up? So I like, I pretty much just laid in bed until, and I, I remember it hit like 12 p.m. and I was like, nah, come on, like, you Let's get go. over it. Yep. Like, you'll be fine. And this happened, this, like, anyone else in the field could be feeling yeah, like yeah, this yeah, now. Yeah. Like, you haven't trained, like. Did you ever, was there any point, like, you thought, I might have to pull out of this? Or? No, I would never pull out. Okay. So no. you were competing no matter what. Oh, 100%. What about, like, um, your diet and building up to that race on that day. What sort of stuff are you doing in terms of eating, drinking on race day? Um, I just drink like lots of Powerade, like yeah. lots of liquids. Yeah. Um, and I just pretty much eat rice all day. Heaps of carbs. Heaps of carbs. Yeah. 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 So um, in the morning I'll have like, I don't know, like oats or like just like anything. I'm not that picky like when it comes to – Not super strict. No, no. But then from like lunchtime onwards it's just rice. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just plenty of carbs. Just Yeah, and then four hours before I always have like a big bowl of rice. Yeah, and wow. Parade. 
Shit. Yeah. That's a that's a spanner in the works for such a big moment being crook on the morning of. Yeah. Far out. We we might as well dial back a little bit um to just maybe growing up in Newey. Um, St. Francis, I believe, was at the school, Francis Xavier College, is that where yep. you went to school? Yeah. Who were some of your friends growing up at school? Um, oh, my best friend Cass, yep. Lil, Cass Fleming, Lily yep. Fluke, yep. Serena. They all local girls, hey? Yeah. Did you, you born here in Newcastle? Yeah. Yeah, all families all here. All families here. Siblings? Any? Um, I got two siblings, my older brother Will. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, Tom, my younger yep. brother. So when you were growing up, were you always quite sporty? Was it something that you immediately yeah. would like love being outdoors and stuff? Yeah. So um, my brother Will played footy yep. and Tom played footy a little bit, but it was mostly Will. Um, and uh, my dad also been involved in footy, like by pop. Like it's always been like in the footy family. Shame, yep. And I remember when I was young, like I really wanted to play footy. Yeah. And like this is maybe when I was like 11, 10, 11 and yep. like, they were just like, no way. Like, you're not you're, playing footy. You no, know, not that I can't play footy, more that like you'll get snapped. Like, yeah, 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 <laughs> you yeah. You just yeah. don't have the build for was it. Was it league? Was it rugby league? Or uh, Yeah, it would have yeah, just yeah. been whatever my brothers were doing. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, so I played soccer instead. And then yeah. um, when I was 12, I found running. And yeah. Yeah, I didn't look back. So 12, that would have been like around grade 7, grade 8. Um, was there any standout moment for you during school when you maybe did well in a race or... Yeah. You sort of thought, oh, shit, this is actually something I could keep doing. Yeah, so, um, well, I was in year six, actually, still in primary school. I, like, made it to nationals. I wasn't training too much, and I remember I placed second at nationals. Yep. And I was like, oh, that's, that's actually weird. not second bad. Second at nationals. That hmm. was actually not bad. And then it's funny because as soon as I did that race, like, my mindset just changed, and I was all in on running to the One point. One race. Where, yeah, to the point where I was probably – too much. Like obsessed. Obsessed. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like I, everything in my life resolved around running at that point. So one result dictated like that obsession with the running probably, stuff. Yeah, I think so. We, am I right in saying you were at Adamstown, the, your junior club for running? Yeah. Adamstown, New Lambton Junior Club for running? Yeah. So at that point, is that when you joined that club? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I joined when I was yeah 12. And when did you meet Scott, your coach? I didn't meet him until um, I was – about 17, 16, okay. 17. Okay, so quite a few years down yeah, the track. Yeah, so my first coach, Jason, um, I was with him for a while and yep. um, he was really good. I was getting really good results for it with him, but um, I think I was taking running a bit too seriously for a young yeah. kid. So it kind of burnt me out a little bit. Yeah, well, um, that's really interesting. So hey. I had two years – oh, I had about a year and a half off and then I moved to Scotty when I was – um, 17 and try to take it a bit more seriously again yeah what was your training like through high school and things like that was it pretty intense it was yeah, yeah. I'd train like every day but then I also became like I wasn't socializing like mm. if I if I don't know like um like 13 and I wouldn't go on a sleepover I was gonna, s- I was like, gonna say go on a bend up but like hang on not, <laughs> we're not there yet sleepovers yeah no, sleepovers <laughs> I'm only cute yeah 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 true 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 um I wouldn't go on like you know I wouldn't like go to parties like yeah go on kids yeah, parties because I was yeah. like nah I've got rain it running the next day like I'm not gonna do it like what, it was a bit ridiculous what what um what influence did mum and dad have on this like were they su- really supporting you was it something you were driving the boat a lot that or was, it you... was me driving the boat my yeah. parents were just i think they were like she's crazy yeah 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 she yeah. just wants to run yeah like they're probably like like you know the, like go on go have fun and then yeah. they get the call at like 11 being like can you pick me up? oh my god where's mom and dad live where do you where do you live um, in Are, Merriweather. so do you technically still live with mom and dad yeah I yeah do. okay cool <laughs> cool what's that like living at home um well both my brothers are back um, home now. B- so busy house. The full house. So how's, well, how's that? It's intense. Yeah. And yep. Um, I feel like the dynamics, like we're all very different. Yeah, brothers, right. So, yeah. It's, it's only been a week. So, I've been Two back for a week brothers. and my brother will move back. Um, He was living in Cos Harbour doing like OT up there. Cool. And now he's come back. So, um, yeah. It's been a week and it's very... It's busy, a lot, busy house. Hopefully, um, we all just find our little corners of the house do you, and is it, ourselves. You, do you think you'd move out or are you pretty happy at home? I would love to move out. Yeah. Um, but I'm just away so much um, yeah. in the year. Like, this year, I'm pretty sure I've probably only spent like four months... Yeah, wow. Castle. So um, you're traveling heaps. Yeah, which yeah, okay. is like abnormal. Um, it's just because it's an Olympic year. But um, yeah, it's just like 
it'd be hard to move out and then paying rent to a place I'm not at. Is yeah, annoying. couldn't agree more. I think that just makes sense. Why would you move out? It makes yeah. no sense. So um, can we talk a little bit more about when you were growing up through high school, your training? Like, Can you give me a bit of a rundown for, say, like a week for your training with running maybe in, in high, high school. school? Yeah, in high school. Um, So Monday would always just be like an easy jog, um, maybe like 10K, 11K. Yep. Yep. Tuesday was always a session and um, – these sessions were like quite intense. They're always at the track, like very speed based. Um, I remember one of the sessions like we would do was two three hundreds, four two hundreds, four one hundreds, but every rep like flat out. You're going, you're sprinting. So like the lactic acid was to Holy my eyeballs. Sh- like it was yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny, like I even like if I'm doing a track session now, and like the tr- my track sessions I'm doing are a lot longer now and they're very yeah. different. But I'm like, nothing's as hard as this session. No, nah, no. Nah. So um so Monday, long run, Tuesday, sprint work. And then um, Wednesday would always just be like an e- another easy run. Yeah. Um, I can't really remember how far, but I was doing yep. a fair few Ks as a kid. Yeah, um, that's what I was going to say. Like how many Ks in a week would you, would you roughly do? I reckon do? when I was a kid, I was probably running like 80K, which 80K is a, week. a lot. Like yeah. um, too much. How does that compare to now? Is that something like... I do 150, 160K now. So it's... Wow. Yeah, but like... Um, a lot stronger and like yeah, of yeah, course, fully developed. of course, of course. Um, and then uh, Thursday would be like some sort of threshold work, so like maybe like a ten k threshold, which um, yeah. is as much as I do now. So, so when you placed in nationals, when you were just before going into high school, what was that a ten k? Um, no, it was only three k. Okay, of course, you wouldn't yeah. be going that far. Yeah. So, um, so when did you? I guess I want to know about like, I know you had a few PBs. It seemed to be from what I've read. It was like 3K, 5K and 10K were like your three sort of distances, would you say? Yeah, well, so that's my distances now. But when I was a kid, yeah. I was more 800, 1500. But okay. I was doing a lot like you'd think it, with my training that I was a 5K runner with yeah, the amount right. of Ks I was you doing. Were doing. Okay. But my best distances were 800, 1500. So a lot shorter. Yeah, yeah. What was the progression like going from the shorter distances as you got stronger, bigger, older – to the longer was that a natural progression to go to the longer distance as yeah. opposed to the shorter distance yeah i think so like i think in the back of my head if i was to like keep running as like an adult i would always go longer i actually enjoyed running like the longer distance more and i was always like a bit better at it yeah but i think um as a kid my coach was really good in like keeping me like like you can always go longer so may as well just stay short until you know, you, course, you can't yeah. do it anymore and then, yeah, what progress were, on. What were the your mates doing? Like, what were the girls doing while you were doing all this running? Like, what sort of stuff? Were they playing netball or? Um, yeah, netball. Yeah. 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 But no Just one was. Just being a normal teenager, I guess. Did you have any friends who were running with you a lot? Like, anyone who was. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, my main, tra- like, I met her through running Chloe Walters. I yep, was, like, yep. yeah, running with her. But, like, she lived out in Blackie, so it's not like I was hanging out with her that much like no, right. outside of running yeah um, yep, like yep. all my running friends i've met in running i like no one from my school was a runner yeah okay. i was a bit like that weirdo kid <laughs> <laughs> just still in the running yeah yeah okay so high school had a pretty busy schedule not doing a whole lot of socializing lots of running um and when did you meet scott your coach what year i met was that? scott um god this is gonna test me maybe 20 finished school in 2017 so it would have been 2015 maybe okay but when I moved to Scott like I like so pretty much I was really into running Mm. and then burnt myself out yeah went off not off the rails but like just became a normal person for a little bit stopped running completely um and then when I moved to Scott like I was which would have been in 2015 so I would have been in year 10 Mm. he Mm. said to me like yeah that's fine you can train with me but I'm not gonna put effort into you if you're not gonna put effort into me because I was turning up to training not doing the sessions or missing sessions like yeah. I just wasn't taking it very seriously so I probably didn't start with Scott properly until like 20 maybe 2017. Why do you think you weren't taking it seriously? Was I just it, don't think I was ready to dive back into running commit. yet. Yeah. Did you lose interest or? Oh 100% yeah, yeah. I've started to I like said I quit for a yeah. little bit yeah really? I like fully lost interest didn't want to be there um, hmm. but the only thing that was keeping me there was it was all I knew. Yeah, like I yeah. did Like I didn't – I wasn't like that into school and like I didn't really have like any other hobbies other than running. So like I just sort of did it because it was like routine. It was just what you knew. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But um, 
yeah, when I stopped running, I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. I mean, it's so funny because, like, oh, I, I compare myself in that sense, not that I had anything that serious in my life in terms of sport, but even just little obsessions like, for example, golf or when you find little passions or drives and trying to stay motivated to keep doing it is really hard. Definitely. And, like, growing up as a kid, when you play all these different sports, you're like, oh, I'm going to play professional soccer or footy or whatever, and then you lose interest. And I find that it just goes to show the elite, like, level athletes and people who – make it to a really high level, the dedication that it takes through growing up and the sacrifices that they have to make, like, you, a lot of people don't understand that. Yeah. And I think, like, even just, like, hearing that, it just goes to show, like, just being able to stay motivated to get up and train and not quit. Like, there's so many people quit. Like, yeah, you see so, so many friends growing up, you probably have the same, so many talented friends growing up who did really well in sport or – could have really made something of themselves and they just don't have that level of commitment, determination. Yeah. And the dropout um, like period is always like very similar. Like it's always like just mm. when like, I don't know, you're coming into adulthood, you finish school and like no one's forcing you to do it anymore. Of course, like, that's a perfect time to just be like, eh, yeah, I'll just stop doing that. Yeah, and then it's funny because I feel like a lot of people do – come back to it whether it's not like if it's professionally or not yeah like they might come back to it just and just do it for the love of it true yeah true 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 yeah crazy now i had written down and this is i don't want to jump the gun too much but you had an injury 2017 28 you had some Im- hip inflammation i did is that right i did i think i might have played a little bit too hard on that injury like it wasn't as bad as okay i think i was injured but I so was they are hurt. okay. So like w- I definitely had it and yeah. it was there, yeah. but I think um that was like the perfect time for me to be like I'm done. I need to have a break. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was around the whole. Like, so how old were you? Were you at that time in 2017? So you would I have just finished high school. Yeah. So 18 ish. Yeah, 17, 18. Okay. So yeah. did you have a bit of a break from running at that time? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you take the year off? I took oh maybe like I took like a year off like racing. Yeah. Um. Oh, my memory's terrible. But I know, I, sorry, I'm really like going, I've got so much stuff written no, down, no, like dates, good. numbers. Um, <laughs> like I definitely, I took the year off and I like stopped running like um, like racing. Yep. Um, but then I was just going for runs here and there. Okay. Yeah, and I just like slowly found myself back into... Slow and steady. Yeah, yeah. I just, I was running, but I wasn't putting pressure on coming back to anything. Yeah. Now I've got here written down, so late 2018, this was a significant part of one of my notes was I think you placed third in the under 20s cross country yeah my comeback race yeah was that like a big milestone for you do you think in terms of the bounce back yeah it was um like coming to that race I was like I was really nervous because when I was younger I like used to put so much pressure on myself to win Mm. and like I would just expect that I was going to win those races even like yeah it it was just like my own Yeah. yeah yeah but um yeah, coming to that race, I was like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to go. Like, I haven't wow. raced any of these girls in so long. Yep. Um, the course was, like, a really, really hilly course. Yeah. Um, Where was that? It was in... Oh, it was a 10K, right? It was 6K in um, Queensland somewhere. Yeah, okay. Um, Mullaney. Yeah. Oh, sunny coast. Sunny coast. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is hilly out there. My parents live there. Oh, really? That's I really crazy. Like it out there. It's, it's so beautiful. good. Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's a lovely. It was golf so. Course. It was the hilliest course I've ever ran on. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So we we'll call it the comeback race, 2018, and then it, it seems to me like off the back of that, you sort of had a bit of success over the next probably one to two years. Yeah, um, I think I got a little bit of a sniff for it. Then I was like, yep. all right, I came third. I wasn't like. Um, I was trying. Like yeah, I went yeah, to yeah. Splendor like the week before that. Oh my god! And I right, was like, right. and then I was like, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. And um, I was like, oh, if I actually like put a little bit, like I put effort in, but if you know, if I put everything in, or yeah, yeah, I just went a little bit harder. You, and I think I so. You said you went to Splendor. Yeah. So with the girls, did you just camp um, or? Yeah, I camped. Yeah, right. Do you do you drink? Yeah. Are you a big drinker? Um. Big partier? No. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> um, in off season? Yeah. Okay. I do. I like, I enjoy drinking. I enjoy when's, having fun. When's your off season? Is that like now. now for you? Yeah. Okay. So what have you got? Like, have you had like a mad Monday? Like come um, back, see the girls. 
Well, my friends were in Paris. Oh, wow. Yeah, they came and watched me. So, like, oh my God. I hung out with them and then we went on, like, a little trip together. That's amazing. Uh, of course, because you were traveling when I messaged yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Okay, back on track. Um, <laughs> 2018, uh, there was a – I think there was a, a race. Was it the Lisa on – I don't know if I'm saying this right. Yeah. On Siki? On Dieki. On Dieki, yeah. The, so, um, 3K. So, you won that? I did. So, that's pretty much, um, like – it's like winning nationals kind of yeah, like that yeah. for under 20s. Yeah. So, so that was a big deal, would you say? Yeah, cuz going to that race um my like my main competitor who's also like my best friend, she just got back from world juniors and she plays like ninth. And like right. we're we're really close but we're also really competitive, competitive. with each other. What's her name? Um Amelia Mazadani. Yeah, right. Is she a Sydney girl? Melbourne. Melbourne girl. Yeah. And um I don't know. I was guess I was more the underdog. Like I hadn't been on the scene like in so long, and everyone just like was like, "Oh, she's done," kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. And um, yeah, when I won, I was just comeback like, season, yeah, baby. Told ya. <laughs> when did you first meet Emily? Um, Amelia. Amelia, sorry. Um, when I was like a kid. Like, yeah. Just okay. Through so running. you've known her for many years. Yeah. Yeah. Has she always had the edge on you, or has it always been? I like, feel like it's been very close. Um, even yeah, she yeah. um she actually doesn't run anymore. Well, not competitively, but she was a really good junior. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. I guess growing up having like someone who you're friends with, but also like competing against, it's like that. It's a funny dynamic. It's a weird, awkward, but like, yeah. Because if like if they beat you, you're like happy for them, but like you're not really. Yeah. But like, it's funny because like even that race, like she's like she's like I'm happy for you, but yeah, like, of course I wanted to win. Yeah, like, yeah. It's a bit <laughs> petty, but like we can also tell it how it is to each other. Like it's just like oh whatever. That's it's good. That's yeah. good. That's the way it has to be. I think, Definitely. especially with on that level like yeah i think if you t- if you take it to like you yeah if you don't laugh you'll cry you know yeah, and so. when you're like competing with the same girls all the time you do become friends with them yeah um so like yeah i guess like okay okay so that 2018 bit of a bounce back year for you and then off the back of that um i think in 2021 20, you qualified for the olympics in holland Yes. Have I got those numbers right? You did. With the 1508? 1508, yep. Was that – and you obviously qualified for the 2020 – So that was for the 2020 Olympics, but because yep. of COVID it was in 2021. That's yep. right, that's right. Yeah. What was that like? Was that the, like finding that out and like that whole experience? Well, so at the start of that year, like I did not have the Olympics in my mind. Even in 2020, so when the Olympics was meant to be on, like yep. not in my mind at all. 2021, not in my mind. Yeah. Um, but at the start of that year, I won the National 10K. Yeah. And like that race was like all the big guns were in it. And yep. like I was – no one like would have had me to win at yep. all. Yeah. And so when I won the 10K, I was like, oh, like – you know, I could make the Olympics for the 10K. Like, I've got pretty much for the um, selection, you have to win nationals. And then if you get the time, it's an automatic selection. Yeah, wow. So, when I won the 10K, I was like, okay, all I have to do is run the time now and I'm going. Like, yep. there's, like, no one else that can, like, stop me if I run the time. Yeah. Um. So, like, going into that, I was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to make the 10K. I'm going to make the 10K. And then my manager, Nick Badeau, um, took me over to Europe in 2021 and it was really hard to travel then, like, mm. since COVID, they were like, worst. no one was traveling. They had to get yeah, so yeah. many documents. Um, and then he was like, all right, you're going to run this 5K in a place called Nijmegen. Yeah. Um, and I was like, yep. And I was like, okay, I can run the time, but, like, if it doesn't happen, I'm going for the 10 anyway. I'm not going for the 5. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I qualified. And I, me, my training partner, um, Izzy Batoil, yeah. she also qualified in the same race. So oh, that's was, nice. That's it special. It was so special just to like, yeah, we both just like looked at each other at the end and were like, what the Holy hell has happened? Shit. Yeah. So, so to get into the Olympics, you have to win that 10K first and then make the Olympic time. Is that right? Um, so it's, it's kind of like a bit of a gray area, but like, so it's top two. Yeah. Or top, yeah, top two, and then yeah, you run the time. That this was in twenty twenty one. Your yep. automatic selection in twenty twenty four it changed. Okay. okay. Um, but that at that time it was that. Yeah. Wow. So then you obviously went to the Olympics, your first Olympics. Yeah. What was that experience like? Um, it was like very like up and down. Like, yep. Like, uh, yeah, I made the Olympics. It's amazing, and then you get on the track, and there's no one there. Like no one there yeah, and I was yeah. like but like I could hear my training partner Stewie like cheering for me which should not happen no. and I t- ran terribly and like, that was Tokyo right yeah uh, I 18th actually, is that right 
I don't know. I've never looked at the results. Yeah, yeah. So I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm dumb. I know more results than you probably do. Yeah, I um, I never looked at the results because I was so embarrassed with how I ran. Yeah, what what's the story there? Like, what, when you say you're embarrassed, do you mean like it just wasn't your day preparation? Oh, I was so young. Um, yeah. Not prepared at all. I was like yeah. physically and mentally just cooked, like so tired. I'd been overseas, like in my first like trip, and I'd, I'd been away for three months, and it was just. I think I was just like not yeah. ready for it. So and that was, was 2021, right? Yeah. So I was 21 at the time. Yeah. Um, and I just, yeah, I don't think I was ready for what was ahead of me. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I think that experience made this one even more special. So, so good. I wouldn't change that. Like, so I think good. everyone has to go through. Um, so much growth. I can't imagine how much growth there would have been yeah. out of that mentally, physically. Yeah. It was just hard that my rookie season was in an, an Olympic year. But yeah. for me to say that I made it, like, um, yeah, I wouldn't change Still it. Still really but special. Yeah, at the time, I was, yeah, I was pretty upset and I... Yeah, still. It was funny when I came back and people were like, oh, would you come at the Olympics? I would just be like, oh, I don't uh, know. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't do that. Well, it wasn't yeah. my best race. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, it's all right. Like, I'd, and just try to shut it down so no one would ask questions about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah. And I still oh, don't know man. what I played, what, a, so. what a journey. Yeah, right. I guess it's hard too. Like, the feeling of embarrassment on the – on the big stage, like, yeah. it, that would be a tough pill to swallow too. Yeah, and also, like, all my friends and family were, like, I remember they had, like, a watch party at South and they were oh all watching God. me. Oh, my God, yeah. And, like, they're, honestly, if they see me on TV, they're, like, excited. They're like, happy. they genuinely yeah. don't care how I go. Yeah. But I was just remember, and, like, this is so silly, and, like, I've never really said this, but, like, I just remember being, like, oh, my God, they're all watching me and, like, I like yeah. just ran. I came to go home second last in the race. Yeah, I yeah, I yeah. Well um, but yeah. <sighs> wow, that's that's and to and like you said to to see where you've come now from that. Like, holy moly, that's just such a crazy thing to to go through. Yeah, you know? especially like a, especially the time with COVID and how things were, and mm. you were probably just getting used to traveling as well and being away from home so much. Yeah, well, it was my first big trip away. Yeah, but yeah. Like on the flip side, though, like I remember just like being so excited to get my first Australian kit. Like I had never made like um, a junior like team when I was young or like anything. Yeah. So it was my first like Australian, you know. Jersey. Which is a massive deal, yeah. Yeah, and I was really excited and I was so excited to go to the village and just like rub shoulders with like all like, you know, the other athletes. Do, like, you, do you remember any, were there any moments like that you met certain people or? Yeah, I remember I was sitting there and we were like sitting on these beanbags. I was with my friend and she was like, oh, I want to get a photo. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll just ask the person in front of me for a photo. And I was like, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> And she's like trying to watch something. And I was like, can you just take a quick photo? It was Ash Barty. Oh my God, yeah. really? And then I was like, oh. holy shit. And then I was like, play it cool, play it cool. Yeah, and then yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. And then she sat down. I was like, I should have asked her for a photo. And she's like a pretty big female icon in Australia. Especially yeah. at that time. Like she was, she was killing massive. it. I didn't even think she was staying in the village at that time. So I yeah. remember when she I saw her. She was in the penthouse like, somewhere else. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> holy yeah. shit. And just like, even like um, the swimmers, like, um, they have so much hype around them, especially around the Olympics. Wow. And like you just like there, and I remember um, Emma McKean is like yeah. having like the like the re- year of her life. Yeah, and she's just like you see her win gold, and then she's come back, and you're like rubbing shoulders with her, like trying to like get on her get your lunch or something. She's yeah, just there chilling yeah, just with a like, gold medal around her. Now. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's funny you say that because we do well with swimming, and yeah. like that was quite noticeable this year. But mm. over the last few Olympics, Australia is very well known for their uh, swimming performances. Um, what I've got written down next is 2022 being your breakout year. <laughs> I think you had a couple of PBs this year, if I'm not mistaken. I did. Um, possibly the 3, 5 and the 10, you all clicked up PBs for that year. Mm. Was it a 14-41 for your 5K in that year? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Wait, that was this year? Yes, this year, yeah. What do you think clicked for you that year when you just sort of took it to a new level? I think, like, so 2021 I had a breakout year and then, yeah, 2022, not good. 2023 was okay. I could see myself, like, making a little bit more moves but not, like, where I wanted to be. Mm. Um, And I just think it was just consistency. I think, like, every athlete plateaus and, like, you know, you have your, like, 
like your really good years and like you're on top of the world and then the next year like you don't know what's going to come yeah um so i think it was more just like consistency and i was due for a breakout what point after the first olympics did you set your target on the next one is that something that you're getting home straight away and you're like straight on the on your wall in your room like this is (laughs) what i'm coming for um yeah it's i don't like really like think about like big picture that much like mm. i do but like it's more just like i just see look at what like the next year is what it's ahead. true one step at a time yeah but because I it's always in the back of your mind it's in like the back that's of your like mind. the ultimate you know definitely definitely and i know i'm gonna have a longer career than like like i'm gonna keep going over the next four years so i'd be silly if i didn't want to make the next olympics yeah absolutely but, um it's funny like in 2021 um because of covid we had to go straight into like hotel quarantine so I finished the race and then two days later I was shipped out. Of the oh, village. my God. In two weeks. Into two weeks clone. by yourself. That's not a good time no. to be sitting by yourself for yeah. two weeks. Honestly, I didn't mind it. I yeah, like, okay. I'm pretty good at doing nothing. I was going to say, like, just bulk Netflix or, like, um, your movies person or yeah, just whatever. Yeah, I watch TV shows. I can't sit okay. and watch a movie. I just okay. get too fidgety. Yeah, um, yeah. Were you one of those people who was like in your room, like push up, sit ups, walking? No. Like, nah, you <laughs> so were just chilling. I didn't do anything. I actually got an exercise bike because so I was like, I'm going to need one. Nice. I sat on it once. There I you go. And there I remember you go. being like, because we had no washing machines there. And yep. this is so yep. silly. But I was like, oh, I can't really do washing. Like, there's no point riding the bike <laughs> if I can't wash my clothes. So I just didn't do it. <laughs> oh, my God. That's yeah. so good. What, what, um, what sorts of TV shows do you watch? Or oh, um, do you remember anything you're watching at the time then? Are you like, just a bit of anything? What do I watch? I just finished The Bear recently. At the oh, time, yeah. I don't know what I was, I was probably watching, like Real Housewives or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> something like Mindless. I like, came out of there like... Friends or something like that. I yeah. love Friends. Friends is good. Friends is the best. That's um, just a staple. Yeah. I literally, yeah, it's funny, me and my best friend, um, like we're both friends obsessed. And, yeah. Like, if yeah. one of us have it on, we'll take a photo and be like, guess the episode. Oh, wow. And we can guess like... How many times have you watched it? Oh, like I don't know a few lots. Oh, ha- like yeah, I don't know. <laughs> have you done like um, like Vampire Diaries or Nah, not Gossip Girl. Yeah, mm. but not Vampire. Prison Diaries. Break. Mm, I started it, wasn't into it. Okay, okay. Game of Thrones. Nah, nah, not for you. Nah. Okay, so are you like a Love Island person? Like mm. for the reality TV no. or okay? I don't really know what I watch. Yeah, just random TikTok? stuff. TikTok. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> YouTube. How. What do you watch on YouTube? What sort of stuff do you watch? Oh. Actually, that's a good question. What do you do in your spare time? Oh, what sort of stuff do you do? Um, I would watch TikTok. TikTok, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Addicting. I just like hang out with friends. I'll go to the beach. Yeah. Just chill. Oh, being in Merriweather is nice. You can just do that. Yeah. I was in a spiral today on TikTok. I was in the trending search and I was just like going through what's trending right now and like it's just the most random shit that's coming know, up. And I'm just trap. like, I don't know why I'm watching this, but like, this is, actually pr- this is actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wish I had, like, a big hobby. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. something I could just, like, do outside of running, but I haven't found that yet. That's okay. Plenty yeah. of time. We'll find it. Let's, let's talk about the recent Olympic experience. Um, I would love to know a little bit more about that. First and foremost, being overseas, how was it being, well, in, what a spot, like, Paris. Like, oh, my God, of all places. Like, how was that? Um, amazing, actually. I had never been, well, I've been to Paris once for a race, but, like, I didn't really like see much. I only saw the athletes yeah. track. So it was pretty cool. And I was really happy. Like my race was at the start of the program. So I had like pretty much 10 days where I could just do whatever I wanted. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Did you have any friends with you there at the time? Like any athlete athletes that you were hanging with that yeah. you get along well so, with? So um, my training partner, Georgia yep. um, Griffith, she was there. We were Perfect. sharing a room together. So we just Perfect. did everything together. Well, did you actually have those beds that were like um, cup? cardboard are they like yeah, well, is that legit yeah well the base is cardboard but okay. it's like there was like a foam and then everyone in athletics got like a pillow top so like, yeah right i don't know where everyone was complaining about it was yeah. fine okay so it was sweet yeah that was so dramatic okay because there was so much spoken about that how it was like oh, it was so disaster dramatic. no but it wasn't it was fine i had great sleeps so okay like good service okay yeah so. okay the only thing i would say like for a bigger person yeah being in like such a small single bed yeah like would be hard, but like for me. When was the last great. time you slept on a single bed? 
I imagine oh, you have like a queen bed here. Yeah, well, when I'm overseas, my beds are always singles. So. Yeah, okay. So, all right. So, you're not, yeah, it's not foreign to you. That's such nah. single beds. I got, you can't really be picky when you're overseas, like going to races and stuff. Like, no, you just get is. what you're given. Just yeah. you're sleeping on this, mate. Yeah, like just it's been best. times like I've rocked up and like you've had to share a bed with like a random. Like, yeah, what did you think of Paris? Um, the I like Paris. I've had mixed mixed opinions. Yeah, I like it, that, but you got to know like where the good spots are. Like, mm. it, there's some real dodgy spots, and then yep. there's like some really nice spots. Like, yeah, um, I At don't least, know. Like I the Eiffel Tower is like you know that's like a pretty Mickey Mouse cool. spot. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. Do you eat snails? I had some escargots. Did you? I did. Oh my, what was that like? I like them. Didn't mind it? Yeah, I actually really like them. Are you I a went foodie? I the seconds. Yeah, I like You them. are a foodie? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So it's good. The croissant's so good. Oh my crepes. God. Yeah. I, when I finished, I just ate myself silly. Yeah. What were the practice facilities there like for your running and stuff? Did you Was that close by? Did you have to travel far to get to there? Or? Um, so... There was a training track which was like so busy. Like was it? So busy. So I only went there once but I was pretty lucky. Like I didn't really have to run that much there. So Yeah, um, that's but good. I r- did most of my runs on a treadmill which I don't usually do. Interesting. Um, because the like the loop around the village was like – it was 4K but like there was so much chopping and changing. Like yeah. the, I just didn't want to think. On a treddy. That would have been interesting. Yeah. Are you someone who can are you get friendly with a treddy? Like, is that something that works for you, or are you used it's to running right. on treadies? If I'm just jogging, it's fine. I don't mind it. And like, I was only jogging like forty minutes max. Yeah. Okay. There, so. Yep, yeah. Yeah. And then once I finished my race, like the final, I didn't haven't didn't jog a step. Yeah. No. Long. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. True. <laughs> so I didn't mind it. Yeah. Okay. So you had they had you on the treadmill a little bit. It would have been so packed though. Like. Um, it wasn't too bad. There was always boxes and stuff like on there, like cutting weight. So that was yeah. always funny to watch, but it wasn't, it actually wasn't, wasn't crazy. Bad. Nah, nah. Okay. Were there any standout, like, I guess, memorable moments for you leading up to the race or anything for your trip being over there or just the whole thing itself was just quite. Just standing on the start line and like just listening to the crowd and being like, there was so loud, like so really? deafening. Yeah, and I just remember being like, you can't even like. There's no way you can run bad. Like the atmosphere is yeah. too good. And then in the heat, um, I finished, and like I like my biggest goal this year was um to make the final Olympic final. It was one yeah. to break the Australian record and two to make the Olympic final. Yeah, and um like I realized I made the final and I look up and I see like my best friends and my family, like my parents up there and they're all cheering. Oh my God. And I'm waving at them and I'm like, as if I can see them right now. There's so many people. I don't know Holy how long, how big the stadium holds, but like out of like the whole stadium, I can literally see them. And yeah, that was pretty cool. That's a nice moment. Yeah. So did you have, how many races did you have leading up into the final? Was it just the one? Or it was just one. One race. Right? Okay. Yeah. And that, I think you ran a really good time for that heat, right? Yeah, it was really slow and I ran 15, yeah, flat. So yeah. I was really happy. It was like I closed like the last 400 in a 61, which is the fastest I've ever closed. Yeah, before. wow. And like it felt like it wasn't easy, but no. it, didn't, it wasn't like I was like, you know. Really struggling. Yeah, yeah. Can, I can just we, felt so good. Can we talk a bit about like, not, not that you need to break down your race tactics and shit like that, but like can you talk me through a little bit about for your 5K, your on that we'll talk about that heat for example um when you're approaching that race mentally what what sort of is your plan of attack um and yeah how what, what are your thoughts processes going to that race yeah so pretty much i look at the field yep. and i'm like all right i look who i like who i think i can beat like yep. you know what's realistic and then i'm like because like at the end of the day like you want to make the final. So you don't want to make yeah. any silly moves that will like tie you out. Yeah. Um, and like, like risk, risk lo- losing a spot. Yeah. yeah but I yeah. looked at the field and I was like, all right, I'm placed like pretty high up in this. Like, and I always run my best when I'm trying to win. That's yeah. like, like, so I just sit in. and. So it, straight past. away you were thinking to yourself, this is a race I can probably win. Yeah. Or like, and if not second, You're third. You're going to be top. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was my thought process going into that. And, Sometimes, even if it's not, I think you just got to tell yourself you have to have to. So, how many did they take from that heat? In they took eight. Yeah. So I look. I coming into the last hundred, like there was a big pack. Yeah, I was gonna say, is that something where you like, if you've made it clear, you sort of slow down a bit, or you sort of just like 
Well, yeah, but I looked up and there was a massive pack and I was like, nah, you got to go. you got to keep going. Yeah, and then I looked back at the race and I was like, oh, I probably was a bit dramatic. Like, okay. There was a pretty, like, it was pretty spread out. But, um, yeah, but still. Yeah. You don't know for sure. Yeah, I was like. I was okay. Like, are you someone to, I guess, get to the front early or are you someone who typically comes from behind a little bit more? Or? From behind, Okay, yeah. okay. Is <laughs> I that, don't lead that much. Is that the, is that always been your way of running i guess someone who comes yeah. from behind yeah i think i'm more confident that way yeah yeah there used to be a joke like oh when's rose gonna kick well the last yeah. 300 yeah 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 it's <laughs> but never too it, late yeah it's what works for me so right so you you smashed out that race you saw your family you qualified for the final so you mm. set out you achieved one of your goals already yeah um how how were you? What were your mentals like going into the final those days leading up to it? And um, what was Scott saying to you? Your yeah, coach? well, it's funny because going into the heat, I was so nervous, like yeah. to the point where I deleted social media. And like, I'm not really? usually like a very head crazy person. Like, I'm usually, I would say, I'm more chill, like about races, like yeah. than others. But like, something switched in my mind because I think I wanted it so bad, yeah, and I knew yeah. I could do it. If yeah. I didn't do it, I would have been so disappointed. So like. Going to the heat, I was like so nervous. Really and then nervous. after that, I re downloaded Instagram. I was like, I'm well, yeah. fine. It's I'm all good. Back. It's yeah. all good. I can watch reels again. <laughs> so, like, going into the final, I was <laughs> so, so excited. Good. Like, I was just like, like anything can happen in a final. You're going to have yeah. to run like the hardest you've ever ran before, but that's fine. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, going into the final, I was way more relaxed, but the heat, like, wow. yeah, I was a bit crazy. Yeah, okay. So, mum and dad, all the fam, everyone was still in Paris for the final, obviously. Yeah. 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 So, can you tell me about the how the final went? Did it sort of go as planned? Were you happy with how you went? Yeah, so going into that race, I was probably ranked like, oh, I don't know, 16th or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, like, I wanted to come top eight because yeah. I feel like that's like a very – it's like a prestigious sort of thing. Yeah. Um, being able to say you're top eight at the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I was just like that's like the ultimate goal. Yeah, okay. Whatever happens, just run your best. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, it went – like I was there until two laps to go. Yeah. And like all the girls in front of me are like very good beasts. girls. Like, yeah, they're beasts. Yeah. So like yeah. I wasn't mad about that but – um. I think every athlete is harder themselves and they always want more. Oh, definitely. But, um, Your own hardest critic, hey? Yeah, so all circumstances like considered, um, I can't complain. And yeah. I ran 14.49, the world champs qualify next year is 14.50. So I've, I got that. Great. So um, So that's already happening? Yeah. Next year you're in? Well, yeah, I have to come like top three or something at nationals. Sure, or, sure, sure. Yeah. When's nationals for you? It's early. It's early like next April, year? Which is funny because world champs is in September. So like it's oh, a long there's a big time. gap. It's because of um, like the Australian summer. They need to have it in there. Yeah, of course. It's it's silly if you ask me. Where? where yeah, on. let's let's get up the Australians <laughs> running system. Let's let's have a go at them. So where where will that uh, nationals be held? Is that uh, Sydney? I think it's in Perth actually. In Perth. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So for you, that's I guess the next uh, target, or that's your next. Pretty much. So that's not till April. Um, I'll do some races like leading in, but at the moment I'm I'm running a little bit, like I'm jogging every day. It's off season. It's off season. It's okay. So put the feet up, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, put the feet up a little bit too much. Really. <laughs> yeah, I was true. like, I when I got back from Europe, I was like, I got to start running again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah true. But yeah, I I'm not going to put pre- any pressure on myself to like race this year. If I'm fit enough, I'll do it. But if I'm not, I'm not gonna. Okay. Have you so next Olympics? Mm-hmm. Obviously, that's something you've probably thought about. Yeah, LA. is that LA? Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, so, what will be the what's I guess your long term play leading up to that? Is that something that you just want to continue to get better each year? Yeah. Um, do you have any goals over the next couple of years with that? Is that pretty much the like the milestone, the getting to that race again? Um, yeah, like definitely LA 2024 I just want to keep getting better like yeah. I want to improve my times there's girls running like so quick at the moment and if mm. I want to like maintain being like you know like one of the best in the world I have to keep improving so yeah, yeah I want to get quicker um and yeah we'll just see what happens but I would love to come you know top eight top six yeah. at the Olympics that's that's, that's a good goal that's a yeah, great goal yeah but like in in the middle of that we've got world champs and stuff um, every second year, so I've got other things I can focus beforehand. on beforehand. Yeah, how do how do you get like we're talking like the point one percent because obviously you're such a high level right now. Do you think like what part of it do you think is the mental side versus like the physical side for you now to get to that next level? 
Do you um, think it's a bit of both? Is it 50-50? Yeah, I think, especially in a 5K, like, like I feel like half of it's mental. Yeah, 100%. Like, I remember, like, say in 2023, I, every 5K I did, I'd want to pull out at, like, 3K. Yeah. And I'd be, just be like, all right, next lap you can pull out. And no, I never did. Yeah. But, like, this year, like, that this is so small, but it was never a thought in my head kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, wow. Like, it was, like... I don't know. Maybe I'm just like a bit stronger, a bit fitter. Yeah. Um, more things. What What do you tell yourself? Like when you when your head starts saying maybe it's getting tough or I just break the race down. So like, yeah, it's always tough with three k to go. Like no matter how fast you run a um, a f- sorry with two k to go. No matter yeah. how fast you run a five k, that when you run like when you get to the three k mark, yeah, you're looking at the clock and you're like, holy, holy shit. shit, I still got five laps to go. Like that's a long way. Yeah. But at that point, that's when I just break it down. So I'm like, okay, get through this K. You can run yep. a K. And then after that K, all right, get to the get to two laps to go. All right, you I know, like get that. to 600 break to go. Break it down. Yeah, I just break it down. Yeah, that's a and good I'm, idea. I'm nice. I'm like, come on, girl, you can do it. Yeah, talk to yourself <laughs> nicely. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I, I, speaking of running, I, I ran a 10K on uh, – I'm no like like I'm not good at running, but I, I ran Fernley. You, oh, you yeah. might have seen Fernley. Um, yeah. What Did was it on the, on the Sunday? Started at Adamstown. Nice. Up, um, the, up the hill. Up the hill. It's yep. Hard. Yep. Um, heart rate straight up, <laughs> and um, yeah, it's it's funny, hey, because like hey, even you turn out. Did you get to Whitebridge? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I get to, um, yeah, there's literally like a little bridge and I, it's the same spot every time, but my Garmin helps me out a little bit. But yeah. it's such a, <laughs> like running so hard. It like is. I honestly, especially when you're not running with someone, like to just go for people to get up and go for a run by themselves, it's not easy to do. Mm. Especially um, if you're not like doing it consistently, it's so hard on the like legs. And, oh, like, yeah. Yeah, mentally you just want to stop, but. Obviously, the more you do it, the easier it is. True, true, true. But true. Um, it is hard, yeah. Are you like someone who's like pumping music, like AirPods playing or are yeah, you... Yeah, I listen to AirPods. What sort of tunes are you um, listening to on like a... On like I more listen to podcasts on a run. Do you? Yeah, I like listening to podcasts because I just zone out. Do you ever do like long runs? Like would you ever do like a 20... Yeah, 20, so 30K? every Sunday I'll do a long run, which is usually like... Where do you run around here? 28K. Do you I like run? at Nobbies? Like... Um, yeah. Dixon? Yeah, yeah, I run yeah. through there. Yeah. Or I run into Glenrock. Yeah. I, yeah. I have a few loops I do. So, like, I do a lot of my runs into Glenrock and then I'll go into the family track. Or, yep, like, yep, yep. I'll start, like, at Merriweather Beach and, like, you know, run past Dixon. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Go around, end up on the family track. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. I like to change it up. I hate doing the same loop all it's, the time. Well, we don't have that many options around here, though. There's like, more than what you think. Is there? Well, yeah. I'm just doing like Dixon, like just like Bar Beach and then like Fernley is like the only two that like I really Go I really to Caro. Know. Oh, yeah, true. True. Caro's great. True. I go to Caro a fair bit. Caro's good. Um, well, like in Europe, like like where I stay in Tedding, like Teddington, which is in London, mm. Um, there's just like Bushy Park, which Bushy Park's amazing. It's great, yep. but you're doing the same loop every day. You're running yeah, the same yeah, yeah. It's 10K all the way around, but um, yeah. I nah, really we appreciate do. running in Newcastle when I've been. Yeah, like, true, true, you do true. some shit runs overseas. You're <laughs> like, uh, it's actually not that bad back home. It's I actually, like it. It's actually Good. all right. Or you could do the trail, like near Redhead. Yeah, okay. So yeah. there's options. There's options. There's you options. just haven't explored. No, nah, no, nah, I need to get out. Jeez. <laughs> um. Tell us a bit about your your podcast. Yes. So you are like a like a small branch off a bigger network. Is that right? Yes. You and your friend. Yeah, me and my friend. How Sarah. long have you been on that for? You and Sarah. I think we've done twenty four episodes now. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. How's that been? It's fun. It's really good. At first, I was really nervous about doing it just because. Yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know what. Like I'm not that. What have I got to talk? I know. About, I know. Right? I know. Yeah. Um. But. Pretty much like me and my training partner, Sarah, we um, talk about like our week yep. of training, yep. um, like what the, what races we're doing. Yep. Um, yeah, just the So it's very sports that. focused. It's, yeah, it's like running very, focused. It's mainly all running focused. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but it's really fun, especially like when we're overseas and like if things don't go right or like mm, when challenges, yeah, funny cha- stories. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. And like you're a very good, you're a good speaker. Have okay. you always been like a good speaker? 
Like, uh, is that something you're always being quite I confident? I talk a lot. Yeah. yeah. I sense that. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of a talker. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. I Have guess I am a confident. Or, like, I am confident when I'm, like, comfortable, but, like, public speaking, like, no. Nah. Mm, in front of people. Oh, God, no. No? Yeah. Not for I you. get so nervous. Yeah. Maybe, like, if I'm more, like, if I've practiced it a little bit, but, like, putting myself in that position is scary. Yeah, yeah. What's, um... What do you what do you love about doing the podcast with your friend? Like, is it just something? Do you feel like it's a bit of an outlet for you to sort of just talk about how you're feeling, what you're going through, what you're doing? Yeah, and it's like I don't know. I feel like a lot of our thing, like what we talk about, is like relatable, even if you're like True. not a professional runner or not. Like, we literally just talk about like I don't know, just random stuff Anything. that goes on on our run, like on our weeks, and yeah, it's and because mm. Sarah lives in Melbourne, so um, it's just That's nice good. to hear about what she's doing, and, and it's probably good way to touch base with her and see what she's doing like you said gives Definitely. you something to talk about like yeah. you can hear about how her week's going what she's getting up to yeah and like it's funny like so many like well like people will be like oh i listen to your podcast like i really like i don't know i found this bit really helpful or you know mm. yeah and i'm like oh i didn't and like sometimes i don't even think twice like yeah 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 like, so that's nice like that is good that those messages are good yeah what's your opinion on like um run clubs like obviously the last couple of years they're a bit of a cult. Run clubs have taken over. Yeah. Like, I think it's I don't know good. the world, but like definitely Australia. Yeah, I think they have. It's and good. The run clubs are kind of intimidating. Yeah, I don't know. I'm well, just like, going for a little jog in my Friday morning and I see like 200 people coming yeah, at me. Yeah, like, it's like, holy yeah. shit. But you know, if it helps people like to get out there and um, definitely do their thing, that's fine. But um, on the flip side... If you're not in a rub club, it doesn't really it's, matter. It's like, all good. Yeah, yeah it's you don't fine. need to be. You don't. You don't have to be cool to be in a run club. Yeah, like, you also don't need to like tell everyone every day you're going for a run. I know. <laughs> That's fine. What, what's with people and like posting their runs and things? Like, do you think it's a bit of a flex? Like, people like to like flex. Um, you know what? If you're really proud of a run and like post it, post it. Yeah, like, that's fine. Like, yeah. you know, I think that's great. But, yeah, um, it's allowed. Yeah, I don't think you should post runs though, and like. Make pe- try to make people feel bad. Yeah, I know. Sort of and like, the you're on the couch and I'm out here. Yeah, doing yeah, that. yeah. Do Especially that. like Sunday mornings after a Saturday. Yeah, like there's like, been a big night. Sorry, like. I have a life. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, what's your what's like your recovery? Actually, no. What's like your recovery and nutrition like? Are you pretty? I know you mentioned before you're pretty cruisy with it. You're not too strict on yourself. Yeah. Are you like meal prepping and like? No. Ice bathing, saunering, all that sort of thing, or um, you're not too. I don't ice bath, um, nor do I sauna. The only time I sauna is um, like leading into big races if they're like in hot places. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just yeah. To, for heat acclimatization, but I yeah, don't do sauna or ice baths for recovery. Yeah. Um, yeah. What recovery do I do? I just chill. I yeah. think relaxing is the best sort of recovery. Yeah. Yeah. Covering the mind. Yeah. What's yeah. your um? What's your favorite running shoe? Like, what do you have to compete in? Um, so I'm supposed to buy New Balance. New Balance, right? So, so balance give them a plug. Uh, listen, listen, New Balance. Yeah. Um, I jog in 1080s, which yep. are my favorite. Yeah. Um, and then I like run in spikes. So of course. Yeah. Are they, are they New Balance spikes? They're New Balance. Okay. Spikes. Yep. Well. Okay. So are they actually the best running shoe? Do you think I the reckon. 1080s? Yeah, definitely. 100. percent 100. percent There's the 1080s the and then there's the 880s. I'll jog in and then I do sessions in. They're called the fuel cell elites yeah so okay i like a super shoe yeah like the you know the big thick ones with the yeah yeah yeah, yeah i think that's what i use i've got the alpha flies oh uh, yeah yeah have you seen the new like asics um the big colorful ones like the yeah big, yeah they're like trending at the moment a little bit are they probably uh, i think so i feel like all running things are trending at the moment I it's think so, so funny like all the niche like little things like people will like talk to me about i'm like I've yeah never what heard about all, run like, belts and yeah i just um i do online like coaching do you i do i do just as like a little side hustle that's cool and um like the all the heart rate zones are called different names that i didn't know oh, about right. and i had to learn it when like where do you promote your your um your online coaching um, so I do it through a company called Northside Running. Okay. Yeah, so okay. they pretty much just message the company and then, like, I just get the athlete. All right, so you're thing. not doing privately through, like, your Insta? You're not, like, no. one-on-ones, like, hit me up, DM me for, like, no. coaching? <laughs> no. Do you coach anyone around Newey? Like, is that They're something? They're all in Melbourne. Okay. Yeah, the, like, most of my running scene is, like, based in Melbourne. Really? Yeah, yeah. Do you like, get in there often? Yeah, a fair bit. You like Melbourne? Yeah, I love Melbourne. Melbourne's cool. Yeah. I always thought I was going to move there, but um, I think I've changed my mind. I think I like to stay at home. 
Yeah, I like the beach. We live in Merriweather, so. Yeah, it's, it's like nice. Nice spot. I think New is like the best place. You reckon? I reckon. Yeah, it's I'm not. It's pretty nice. It is good. It is good. Yeah, I've only been here for three years. Oh, true. So I moved from uh, Queensland, sunny coast, uh, and grew up like. Is it similar? It's a lot slower up there. Like yeah. Queensland's just a lot slower, but like by heart, I'm a Queenslander. Like I'm. I'm through and through. I'm going for the Maroons when it's state of origin time, you know. Like yeah, I'm, well you're from Queensland. I'm, I'm a Queenslander. So living here has been interesting because obviously um, a lot of Blues supporters, you know. So I've just been adjusting to that. A lot of the boys go for the Blues. So <laughs> Please. That's like takes up like three months or not even a few years. <laughs> yeah. as if that, like, it de- it's a big deal though, right? As In if that year. defines if you like Newcastle <laughs> or not. Yeah. Too many Blues supporters. No, nah, I hate it. Yeah, they suck. <laughs> and you... Um, you also sponsored by a uh, hydration company, Prepped. Prepped. Yeah. When did that start for you? Um, well, it's funny. I kind of not forced them, but um, yeah. my friend Izzy is sponsored by them. Right. I would always steal her stuff. Like, yeah. I'd be like, oh, Izzy, can you bring me a prep drink? And like, yeah. she'd always have to like ask for extras just for me. Yeah, right. So, um, so they yeah. eventually they just said, uh, yeah, right, fine, let's, let's hook you up to Yeah, yeah. So they just send you stuff basically. Yeah. So yeah. that started in oh, probably like, Gen- no, last year. Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, cool. Yeah, okay, so New Balance prepped. Oh, you're doing all right, mate. You're yeah, doing, you're doing good. things. Good on you. Yeah. What about like a um like a post? Oh, I don't know if you do this, but like a post ra- um post race like snack or like are you like a big protein bar person or? Um, I usually have a prep drink straight okay. after the race. Yeah. So they have like a like a hydration recovery drink. Yeah. And then. Yep. I don't know. I usually just go get a big feed. <laughs> What's your favorite feeds? What do you like? What do you like around Newey? I don't know. I do like a good burger. Yeah. Around Newey, yeah. I love dumplings. Grilled? Dumplings? Oh, grilled's all right. Grilled's all right? I don't love grilled. Uh, okay. I think that I like, I don't know, it has a funny taste to it. Grilled? No, nah, it doesn't. It does. You know how that has that grilled It has taste? that grilled taste. When yeah. you're having grilled, it tastes bur- like grilled. I think there's better burgers than grilled. Have you been to Birdie? You would have been to Birdie. Birdie's good. Birdie's good. Yeah. We like Birdie. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other good places in New York that there are to eat. I do like a burger from the Prince. Yeah. Do you go to the Prince do you go to the Prince much? Um, yeah. It was yeah. pretty close. On the weekend? The girls yeah. went out, the Prince on Saturday? Uh, yeah. Did you? Yeah. yeah okay. I did go to the Prince beaches? on Saturday. I don't like the beaches. You don't like the beaches? Mm. Why not? The music's terrible. Yeah. Uh, it's cooked. I hate it. What is it? Like R and B or is it like house? Oh, it's like the classic shit mixes so where do you go after prince or is that just wrap it up after prince i don't know um, king I guess, street no <laughs> you won't catch me dead in there <laughs> i don't know i don't i haven't really been out in new that i was much. gonna say yeah. i did go to the last on saturday did you i did that's interesting it was fun the last yeah, it's good yeah is that where is that in town um, what suburb is that wickham is that where they have that uh, mini festival What's the made on Sundays? I guess you'd be out of the loop with that anyway, but I don't know. I'm sure they had, they've that, had a no, festival. No, that there. was at um, the Lucky, lucky wasn't it? Lucky, yeah. Was I wasn't lucky. home for that. I don't true. really go out in Newey that much, to be honest. Like, I'm not actually home that much. Yeah, 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 true. You say that and then you'll see me at like... I'll spend <laughs> every weekend with those. Yeah. You're in off-season, so it's okay. Yeah, but I don't think there's that many good places to go out here. Unless nah, there's like it's an not... Like, I'd rather just go to the pub. Pubs, a lot of pubs, I hey. like a pub. And Prince is hard to beat. Yes. Like in terms of pubs in Newey, that has got to be like the best pub in Newey, nice. I reckon. It's chill. Good food. It's good food. Very cruisy. Good it's spot. nice on an Arvo on the balcony. Oh. It's gorgeous. So good. Whereas like at the beaches, I was there on Friday just for like one drink. Yeah. And it was like 6 p.m. and they've already dimmed the lights and like shutting all the doors. Uh, and I was like, come on, I guys. don't know if I've become a grandma, but yeah, like yeah, this yeah, is yeah, not Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. So I just trying to get everyone home. inside and get on the vodka readies. I just want to have yeah. another beer, you know? Yeah, no, I know. I just want to chill. I just want to chill. The sun's come still on. up. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I said to my friend, I don't know if I'm becoming a grandma, but like this isn't it. And she was like, oh, I don't How know. How old are you now? 24. 24, okay. I'm 25 this year. 25 this year. I'm just holding on to the fact that I'm still 24. <laughs> yeah, 24, 25. When, when's your birthday? December. December, okay. Now, I think maybe you're just transitioning, you know, into that maybe. next next chapter. I'm just mature. Maturing. Yeah. <laughs> Especially after all your overseas trips as well. Like, that would... Uh, being by yeah. yourself so much too, that independence. Yeah. yeah, I do find, like, whenever I come, like... And, like, I love my parents and that they let me stay yeah. at their house. But, like, it is hard, like... Doing it, readjusting, like, yeah, readjusting, being around people all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be like, so used to just being by yourself, I guess. Uh, yeah. Are you someone who likes being by yourself, though? 
you know what I say I am, but then I find that I'm just FaceTiming everyone. Yeah, anyone that answers people. me. Yeah. Like I do like alone time, but I do I'd rather be with people. Yeah. But then fair. like in Europe, like yeah, I'm alone, but like I'm sharing a room with someone pretty much twenty four seven. Like yeah, there yeah. wasn't one night that I had True. It's own. not like you're actually by yourself. No, yeah. I've always got someone if I do need to like lean on. But yeah, like yeah, yeah. I do like my own space too. Yeah. Bit of a mix. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right, well that's pretty much all I've got. It's been I think it's been over an hour and a bit now. So oh, that flew. What are we at, Jacob? On the yeah, about the hour ten. Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> that's, that a, that's so a longer fun. one. It's supposed to be a bit less than that, but anyway, we'll we'll run with a bit longer. But um, no, thanks very much for coming on. Yeah, it's been it's been me. nice to to get to know you and um to hear about your story. And no doubt there'll be um, plenty of people who will be keen to to hear about your experiences um, overseas, growing up in Newey, the running scene, um, and hopefully some, uh, maybe some younger kids who want to get into running as well. And is there any uh, final messages from you to anyone maybe who would consider doing athletics running growing up or? Don't take it too seriously. Just yeah. have fun. Yeah. Just enjoy it. Yeah. yeah, I love that. We'll finish on that, hey? Don't take things too serious. Um, thanks for watching today, guys. Don't forget to give us a follow. Uh, this episode will be out, I reckon, Friday this week will do, or Wednesday. I'll let you know. Um, but, yeah, thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And, yeah, thanks, Rose, for coming on. Thank you for having cool. me. Cool. Peace.